Wow, I've had such a revelation. Do you know what God wants from us? Do you know all he wants from us and what we were made for? I was just worshiping here a little while ago and I just had this revelation come over me that we were made to love him and him love us. That's it, that's all. And we have created this whole journey, this Christian walk to be so much striving, so much trying, so much um, making basically mountains out of little mole hills when all he asked was that we love him with all our heart, that we love others as we love ourselves, and that we go to him and receive that love. A hard heart, closed heart, a hurting heart cannot receive the love that God has for us. And I did that for so many years where I was hardened and I was cold and I was bitter and I was angry. And I just, the love of God wasn't able to even as a Christian get into those crevices, get into that deep depth of my heart. And because I had so many soul wounds that weren't healed then, it all works together so intricately. And even up until I bet you last the last couple weeks, I was continually striving, trying to and I didn't I didn't see it in that way that I was trying to earn his love, but in a sense I was thinking I needed to do something, I needed to be something, I needed to, to rise higher, I needed to be more, I needed to be more sinless, I needed to, um, you know, get into more worship, more scripture, more, more something to get something, and yes, that's all amazing, but that's got to come from a, a heart that genuinely wants to worship him, genuinely wants to get into his word and, and learn more. And it can't be with a, a heart that's got another agenda or a heart that's not healed. It's got to be a true, genuine worship where it says in God's Word that we will worship in spirit and truth. And there's a difference. And I am learning the difference of, of worshiping and um, honoring Him in spirit and truth rather than in striving and trying to be and trying to conjure up something to happen so that so that I could be um, more whole, more healed, more free. And I'm really delving into that stillness, to be still and to be silent. Two different things. To be silent first is to shut out the, the, the noises, the, the telephone, the people, the TV, the um, actual physical motion and commotion that's going on around us to silence that but the stillness is within the stillness is stilling our minds stilling it stilling our hearts and just allowing us to be quiet and that is when Holy Spirit speaks that is when Holy Spirit downloads that is when Holy Spirit unctions us to to get a revelatory word or to get something that we needed we, we cry out in prayer all the time and asking him for for things and uh, showing us things and he's not a father that won't do that but he does it in his timing and he does it when we're quiet and it's so hard in this world just to be quiet just to be calm just to be at peace the peace of God is within us the peace of God if we are Christians is one of the major fruits of the Spirit and to live in that peace we have to first receive it to know that it's in us to believe that it's in there and as he stirs up those fruits of the spirit the joy love peace patience kindness that's already right in our very bellies right in our very spirits and he wants us to embrace each one of those fruits and I did I had so much unpeace all the time if that's a word but I didn't have peace I didn't have that calm stillness with him and the moments when I did, I would look back and I would say, wow, I remember the, the revelation I had. I remember the feeling of his presence. I remember the glory falling 
on me in this in this oh, little Jesus. living room and how he spoke to me and how he gave me direction and that's what the Holy Spirit presence does exactly but just like you're not going to hear um, you're not going to hear something in the midst of the, tr the loud traffic and the horns and the chaos and, and the busyness of life you're not going to hear that inner voice inside of you the Holy Spirit you're not going to hear what he has to say and he has so much to say and I am just getting so hungry, so hungry for that presence to be more um, in my life than, than not in my life. Yes, we have the Holy Spirit all the time. At, at the time of salvation, Holy Spirit is within us. But to really use the gifts and the power and the authority that Holy Spirit has for us is absolutely mind-blowing now. And I know that um, once we reach heaven, it will be even will be even more in awe as to what we had, what was always available to us, and all we needed to do was just be quiet and still in His presence and listen. We listen to so many voices, so many people in the world, so many leaders and pastors and authority figures and parents, and that's all great, and that's we're, we're to respect that. Uh, those authority figures and those leaders but you know what the voice that you want coming through any of those people is the voice of the Holy Spirit and we can have that one-on-one -on -one with him anywhere we want and I always tell people that um, he will work through a person and he will do that when someone needs to, to have that tangible human being in front of them to get a word from God or to help them encourage them to even give them correction, give them new direction. And you know what? When it's from Holy Spirit, it's gonna have impact. When it's from Holy Spirit, it's gonna have that, that, I call it that clout, that ability to change that person, that ability to touch the heart because it's spoken in a spirit of truth from the Spirit of God. And that is the journey I'm on now, is to just delve into more of that, to sit and be still and know that he is God, that he is the one with the answers. And I just want to encourage anyone to just um, seek his face, whether you are a believer or not. Um, seek his face, it says in the word. Seek my face and I will reveal myself to you. Draw near to me and I will draw near to you. He doesn't say that to be difficult or to make it um, a challenge, but it really can be for many of us to just take that moment to draw close, take that moment to hear what the Father has to say through the Holy Spirit. So I haven't done um, any YouTube in a while. I'm having a blast on Instagram. I am just, I just feel so encouraged that I know that I know um, this little Instagram ministry I have is making an impact and that is my sole purpose and so check out Instagram, but this is my um, my first YouTube video in a while. And I just wanted it to, uh, in the moment that I'm feeling the presence of God, I want you to know that and sense it even through a, a video screen, even through a cell phone like this, you can sense the peace and the emotion and the good emotion, not those feelings. Um, of what happens to you when you have the presence of God moving in your life and you've asked him to stir up those gifts and then he just shows you mind-blowing things and I want that for you I want that for my family I want that for everybody and when God gives you a heart to love people then you can bank on him using you as a vessel to do that and I am so honored I am so honored is really the only word honored grateful that he's using me at this time in my life because had you known me five ten years ago complete transformation and continuing to move forward in an, an even more transformation more healing more freedom and that's what we should be trying to attain daily but not in a striving not in a trying not in a do 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 to get something be something that we're not um, just to um, I often speak about the little WhatsApp group I have on WhatsApp that's called Just Be, Just Be, and watch and see what God will do in your life. 
Um, so I hope this encouraged you. I hope that the presence of God um, is enveloping you right now in the room that you're in. And I just want to pray with you now. I just feel led. I wasn't going to, but I just feel led to pray and, and that, that prayer of peace over your life. So Heavenly Father, we just thank you that you are the peace maker, you are the peace giver, you are the Prince of Peace. And we just come to you now, myself and who's ever watching this, and we ask you just to stir up that beautiful gift of peace that you've given us. As Christians, and we, we have the um we have that that direct line to you where we can receive these gifts of joy, peace, kindness. Uh, patience, self-control, all those gifts. But right now, Father, I just send out peace. Peace to those who are not having peace. Peace to those, the loving peace of God, the gentleness, the, the power of the peace. I just extend that out and I speak it into the life of the person viewing this and that it will just come from the top of their head and come right down in just that presence of you that as it's stirred up within, that it'll, it will just overcome my friend watching or the person watching or whoever it may be and for me too Lord in this moment I just take this moment to say more more of you less of me more of your peace and less of the chaos more of the joy and less of the sadness and the, the heaviness just more of you Lord that's what we desire so I thank you for this opportunity to pray with the with these wonderful people, with these people who are searching, these people who are hurting. And I just know that I know that it will be sent through with love. It will be sent through just with a, a, a download to you. And you can just you can just open your arms and you can just receive, receive that prayer. You don't have to do anything. And that's the beauty of, of, of walking close with Holy Spirit and with God is you don't have to do something. You pray and then you just just let it be and just let him envelop you in his love and that is what this walk is all about and I'm finally starting to get it so I hop back on and I'm so glad I did I'm feeling the joy I'm feeling the peace of God I'm feeling the excitement of wanting more of getting hungry for more and I hope you are too and I hope you share this I don't have a whole lot of followers on YouTube right now and I don't need followers to do anything except for the purpose of having spoken and shared with other human beings about my journey, about what Jesus has done for me, what he will do for you, and I can, I can say that with 100% confidence, what he will do for you. So my friend, I thank you for listening. I thank you for praying that prayer. I thank you for just sitting now and just letting it all do what only he can do. So hopefully I will hop back on soon. There won't be such a large gap in between my time on YouTube, but check me out on Instagram too and what God's doing in my life. And um, I got some quirky stuff over there on Instagram, but I think it's definitely downloads from God and I want to share it with you. So have a great evening. Bye-bye.